Hello and welcome back to IT Performance. It has been a little while since I have been able to do some more on my case, build. And today is the day to do some more. So today I will be testing the <coughs> RGB connections and routing and um, just making sure that all of the RGB will, will work. That does not include the Corsair fans, which will be going on the front, because they have a separate controller. Uh, whereas the RGB we're talking about today will be coming from off the motherboard. Uh, in order to do that test today, I have a test power supply, a little, little 450 watt um, Cooler Master bronze power supply. I have some more RGB extension cables. I only need about maybe two or three, but I could only buy them in a packet of 10. I have a jumper to start the power, said power supply um, without having to plug it into a motherboard and a power switch. I have the power supply, a little power supply, which powers this, which is a little RGB home RGB strip generator. Now that works on exactly the same um, exactly the same settings or um, technology as the internal RGB does. So if you need to test your RGB in a case like this, in this sort of case, forget I'm not talking about the case that's on the table, um, then one of these is perfectly capable of sending an RGB signal to all your equipment um, without the need for having a motherboard or anything plugged into it or indeed a power supply. The only reason why I need the power supply is to power my little hub. I will be connecting up the motherboard water block, the water block for the video card, the pump, the four fans, and I think that's about it. From one connector through the little hub um, with that. Now that was about $12 New Zealand. Uh, so we'll see how that goes, plus the little power supply, which is about another $5, so about $17 or up. All right, um, I don't think I need that. That's actually a PWM fan extension cable, which I do not need at this stage. Um, oh, that's another PWM extension cable. Don't need that yet either. All right, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Ooh. Yeah, you excited, cat? I am. All right. So first thing we need to do is we have the little extension cables here. So you need to make sure you get them on the correct pins in the correct order. Um, because they're not labeled on here, and but they are labeled on here. Okay, I need to... Okay, so it's labeled on here. It's labeled on here. It's not labeled on here. Now, from what I know, the pin one is the power pin. So we will go with that. Uh, this is the connection cable, so for the RGB to the hub. Line up the two arrows. And that's one plugged in. 
Okay, um, one, two, three to go. Now this does not have any labeling on there. However, I have already done a test. Too confusing for my old brain. Now the water block at least has a proper connection on it so hopefully that won't come apart as much as the as easily as readily as the GPU uh, motherboard block. Here we go. Does it say? Arrow indicated on the connector. Arrow indicated on the connector. There is no arrow on the connector. Or is that it? Or is that it? Let's have a look at this. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Because I think... <laughs> so, their arrow on the connector Not sure if you can see it in this light. Is on this bottom pin here. All right, so now we know which way round that goes. Okay, so let's plug this in. The power supply should start. And it does. So that does its correct job. So let's 
plug in the RGB maker. Look at that. And it works. Demo mode. Okay, look at that, look at that, it works. So that's, as you can see, so that's all plugged into that at the moment. So those, it's coming up to there, splitting into there going up to the fans at the top so obviously they're not powered on for the for the spinning but they're definitely working for the RGB and that's the whole goal of today make sure that all the connections work and when I go to plug it into the motherboard it'll be all dandy fantastic and so there you have it it works my goal today is is done. Um, obviously, I can't test the, um, the PWM because I don't have a controller for that at the moment. So there we go. Uh, the next step is to start pulling apart my motherboard and everything from the old one. Um, get the water block onto the video card. That'll be fun. Um, that's probably going to be the next thing to be fair I can always run my existing um, monitors off the motherboard don't want to have to do that uh, but that will get my get me get me motivated to get the rest of it all done and into the case okay thanks for joining me like and subscribe, and uh, come back for more later. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Look at this. What the? What? Whoa. Okay, so I'll be connecting up the, 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 the motherboard um, block, the, uh, um, the block for the, for the, um, let me try that again.